Hello everybody, it's me. Welcome, welcome back to Project Wingman, where today we are finishing up the game as I get it all launched. Got y'all in check, got my VR set up. How goes everybody? You ready for this? Because uh, d d that's a lie if you say yes. No one's ever prepared for the Project Wingman finale. That's just the fact of life is what that is. Getting picked up on the thing, right? Yep. Cool. Perfect. Make sure my chair's actually in the right spot. Uh, joys of VR. So many things to fiddle with. Is my cursor on there? Hey, Pollops, missing Dagda. How goes my... Whoa, that was a little weird. I just heard some weird static. I hope you guys didn't hear that. Let's go. Yeah, that's probably why. Alrighty. Let's carry a mercenary car. Consequences power. The economic heart of this side of the world. Even the cities of Moira and Byzantium in the Federation are challenged by it. This was a city whose main purpose was to breed trade, both coming into yeah. Cascadia and coming out. We it's have a monetary capital here. Cascadia. Or economic capital, I guess would be the term. Secured. A majority of the remaining air traffic, both military and civil, for the federal and the main source of air power. I'll be damned. What we're looking at then is the main source of aerial power for the Federation in this war. But how y'all going? I know, I know I'm missing a dag to play him well. Uh, I probably would be if not for you know this game, which let's be fair, this game is better. Shelling of the city has been ongoing throughout the last few days, weakening much of the defenses both on the ground and in the air. However, the time is now to move in and secure Prospero and its port. Ground units have already surrounded the AO and are making their way in. Yeah, Hitman team, do. you will be tasked in making sure that Federation does not rally a proper aerial defense of the area. Federation air power has constantly been Did that play nice? That played nice. Cool. Occasionally, I just gotta unplug and replug my um my uh fucking the the fucking mixer the, the well my microphone headset I plugged into basically. All right, let's go. I don't know why it does that. From what I understand, the one I bought is just known for getting a little faulty, and it has been a few years, so. Makes sense. It, it was not like it was a super duper high tech studio one. It was designed for personal use. All right, we've nearly got enough credits for the next uh, Suki Blat, but uh, not quite yet. But we are at that point where we are just using prototypes now. That's we're at that level of the game. Hey, you can actually see the hard points. How about that? Uh, yeah, multi lock in here. So, uh, so smart anti air, multi lock anti ground, angle attack limiter, turn me. Where's the white one? Oh. Oh. I could have sworn there was a brightly colored one. Whatever. Let's go. You currently do not hear the game audio. Uh,. Wait, are you sure about that? Yeah, Dagda, that's coming through on my end. Is this just a Dagda thing? Uh, that's weird because... Uh, there you do. Yeah, I think it. Ah, it was just quiet. Are you sure it's quiet? Like, it's coming through at the normal volume. I'll give it a minute here, let me know if it stays quiet. Is it any better now? I'm gonna assume it's better now, because y'all aren't saying anything. Alright, let's take this shit out. Yeah, it's better. Cool. Alright. 
Open the Prospera, everybody. It's a foggy mess. Oh, no, you fucking don't. Ready for immediate roller coaster ride. Look, I'll be honest, I don't want these battleships taking off. I'm blowing them up. There we go. I don't care if they're boxed as long as batting them. I'm taking them down. Yeah, let's get these fuckers. It feels weird to just be immediately in the thick of things. It feels, it feels like the last few times we had the little build up. That's a lot of fucking planes, though. Holy shit. That's a shitload of planes. You have to eject, you have to eject. Oh, All righty. That made things spicy. Fucking. These goddamn missiles won't stop. I can't, like, sit for a second here. I've this Mobius one missile 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 beep 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 fucking hell All right MLA is away they're talking about over the radio. I'm sure it's nothing important. We'll just keep doing our job mindlessly as we do. Hey. It's still going. It's still fucking going. Fuck me, there were more missiles here than there were over the Bering Strait.
Ah, fuck. I forgot to do something. I forgot to set my bindings correctly. Just a moment here. I went to do the angle of attack limiter and it didn't go off. I forgot, yeah. You gotta set a profile for my uh, HOTAS. Otherwise it doesn't work properly. Okay, now I can do the funny. Surrenders, even. Alright. Missed. Damn it. Alright, who's next? We can actually do some of the SAAs now. Ding. Ah, and I got that. Okay, we're just mopping up at this point. That's Prospero, everybody. It's a, it's a chaotic mess, but, you know, at the end of the day, we take them all out and we're done. Really? Fucking this AAs. There we go. Looking on to me. Really? Really? You think that's a good idea, mate? That's a red shine in the distance. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's not ominous at all that I just got a red shine in my rearview mirror. Whatever the fuck that is. Oh no, that is literally a mirror, huh? How about that? Bingo! Hey, isn't this place near an active volcano or some shit? Yeah, whatever. I'm sure we'll be fine. I wonder what they're on about. Missiles. Uh, hey guys, that's a lot of cruise missiles. Fucking land. Shit. Oh shit, I got it. Uh, but I have this distinct feeling we're not getting these ones. Uh oh shit. Yeah, that one's landing. Combat Zero? Oh, 
there goes more. Oh, there goes more. Oh, shit. Get some more. Oh god, they are skill bombing. Uh oh. Hey guys, I feel like something is, uh, yeah, you know what else feel that? The bomb's so powerful they're sending out fucking earthquake signals. But uh what do you think guys? Should I stop pretending I don't know what's about to happen? Prime warhead, you say? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so all the cordium deposits in the ground may or may not be reacting with the cordium tipped cruise missiles. And, uh, well, you see, it may or may not be. So, who had Apocalypse on their bingo card? Or more specifically, Second Apocalypse? Calamity. That's what this is. This is what it had to be, right? That's, uh, not a glitch, oh by the way. That's... So? What did we all learn today? That's right. Don't set off a fucking chain reaction in the dirt. We, uh, we don't get to change planes anymore. Yeah, but you're a little slow, mate. I gotta... 
Yeah, it's kind of, you know. What the fuck is that? He's got a point. Besides, we're not getting far if this is as widespread as it looks. There's uh there's base. Holy shit, it still looks intact. Okay. Yeah, well, let's do a flyby. What the fuck is that in the air? This what what the fuck are those? Those are, uh, 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 ghosts, I guess. Oh, whatever, what's... Not with me, this lightning. Uh, don't look blown up. Hey, anyone home? Doesn't look like much of a home anymore, huh? Uh, uh, shit. Yeah, I agree with that. I should be close enough to transmit now. Breaking gravity for a second. Rosauer, this is Galaxy. Transmit on any frequency on this range to signal that you're alive. Come on, I'd rather not inherit a graveyard. Getting visual. More than that, getting contact. Ah, shit. Well, shit. Are we really doing this again? Ah. Is this really the time? Like, do you know what the rest of the world looks like right now? Fucking hell. How much are you getting paid for this? I gotta know. Good question, Press. It's literally the apocalypse. And they're just like, nah, fuck you. We won't get paid today. Like, really? I was fighting in Project Wingman, aren't you? That doesn't mean you know how to fly that thing. Come on, I've been on your tail for like a full minute now. You can do better than that. You are not standing any chance right now. Oh, that's a fuck ton of missiles, what the hell? How many did they just launch at me? Uh, guys, I think we're getting Macrossed right now. Oh, we are definitely getting Macrossed right now. Oh shit, that's not good. Uh... All right, the sky is now full of missiles. We can deal with this. Is fine. This is fine. Oh god, that's a lot of missiles. I can't even fucking see anymore. Oh god, this oh what the fuck is that? What in the hell? I don't even remember this mission. Oh, no, it's not. That's so many fucking missiles. Jesus Christ! The actual fuck is this? I I I'm I 
I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, it's so many fucking missions right now. Just fucking unloading everything I've got into them right now. <laughs> I can't use the AOA limiter or I will die. I, I gotta, I gotta keep moving. Or uh, this shit will kill me. What the fuck are those? Like, actually though, what in the shit are those? Uh, it's it's all turned to an mate. That's a hit, at least. Oh, fuck me. Uh, working on a press. I, I, uh, what, how do you, what, what is going on? Hell. I, I am, I am, it's, it's fine. I am okay with events as they are currently unfolding. What the fuck? What the actual fuck is going on? I need I need you to die right now, or or I I, I don't I don't I legitimately don't even know right now. Uh, it's nearly dead. Fucking upload. I don't care what I'm using, just hit it. There we go. Oh. Uh, the fuck. Missile simulator, holy shit. Okay, that fucking happened. All targets off radar. I don't see any shoots. Mission lost. Uh, oh, what? Monarch's boss now? You go down there and tell me if I get alive. I'll tell you myself, Mrs. London. Crap. Hold on, clearing up the signal. I recognize this pattern. This is Assassin 1 to all surviving units. Seize radio silence. God, you were playing possum? You don't get my job that easy, Dominic. All survivors, saddle up and get airborne. We want to bump this go rodeo as soon as possible. Not so much for the pay bump. Yeah, one plane. We're gonna get a head count soon. Why? Hold up the stuff in our barracks, sir. That's the least you can do for us after saving your asses. Fair enough, Hitman 3. The runway seems intact. Get down here on the floor. So yeah, shit hit the fan, just a little bit. <laughs> We've had a really, oh, I forgot really about this shit. Day, Stardust. You'd be making a big mistake if you told us to stay. You know that. Listen to the lady. She's got rank on you. You remember who she is? Quite frankly, Major Lund, I don't give a damn who you are, and I understand you don't want to be here. That's as true today as it was when you, Hitman, 
left Cascadia the first time. That's right. subtitles. You don't know a lick about us. You're on our right out of here. Either pay to come with us or go. Whatever you do, don't waste our time. If I may make Cascadia's case. You're still contracted to Cascadia, Sicario. You have a bargain to fulfill, and quite frankly, you're worth more to us now than ever. Look outside. You think there's a Cascadia left? It looks worse than it is. Promise. My countrymen are scattering to safe zones to shelter in place. We'll return soon enough after this hell passes. When we do, we'll need your help. Me and my soldiers don't fight losing wars. This war will not be lost. Not with all of you still remaining. All of us? What do you mean? Sicario has been nearly wiped. Perhaps. But for a man of your boss's particular persuasion, Cascadia will offer you this to rebuild. There's nothing you can offer to get me to die for a lost cause. The Earth itself opened up to fight you. Don't you understand that? Jesus Christ. Is that enough? Is that everything you want? A mission? Orders and what you need to carry it out. Go to the periphery and bring back everyone who can fight beneath your banner. For all Cascadia knows, you can just take this and run away with it, never to return. But we put our trust in you to come back with the cavalry. If not, well, I guess you'll just be the low-life mercenary that turned away when history needed him most. <sighs> you really are that desperate, aren't you? We'll see. We won't. We have targets on the back of our heads. People will come hunting us. I don't care what Kaiser does, because it doesn't involve us. You three are our best pilots. Cascadia will protect you when this war has ended. You're a fool for even trying to promise that. We aren't for sale. We're leaving. Go ahead and lose this war. This is your way of life. And you think running will be any better for you? The Federation has got your number. And as far as I can tell, Cascadia is the only shot all of you have for living out the rest of your lives. Send them for all I care. We're dead men walking. Damn it, listen to yourself, woman. Even if me and Monarch let you carry out this death wish of yours, we'll still be caught up with it. Stardust here, at least it sounds like he has an alternative. Correct. What's that? Why don't you take a look first, Commander Franken? What the hell? That's... I... It's not for me. Come on, man, what is it? Take a look for yourselves. Is... is that what I think it is? Oh, shit. You pull through for us, I will give you more than your freedoms, your lives. It'll be like as if the last 20 years never happened for you. You can have your new start, or continue your life as it is right now. But this, it'll let you do that. You'll be free. You can do whatever you want. Cascadia owes you to have this. This, this deal, if we make it, if you give us this, nothing goes back to normal. It's better than nothing. Hell, a whole lot better than nothing. Galaxy, you stick around with Hitman. They'll need you. I'll go out of country for a bit. Gather up an army. Oh, come on. What the hell? Why do I get to stay? Because I own you still. That and you'll do more good here as I go recruit. You'll stay in country. Continue the fight. Keep us above ground. Well, we'll need a base for that. Rose Dower is about to be swallowed. We're working on it. Options are slim at the moment, but... There's a highway that never got the funds it needed out by the Daner Valleys. My dad saw to that. I know how Cascadian infrastructure bills were. The section should still be there. Aye. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Lead the way? You're still full of surprises, Peter. I aim to entertain. Well, that's it then. Hitman? I'll be seeing you. Hitman, find your place and stand by. If those highways you say are good, we'll be sending more pilots your way to support. When the orders come down, you better be up to it. Never did figure out the actual lore of this place. I know Hitman is, like, up to some shit and has a history with Cascadia. I don't actually know the specifics. I never did figure that shit out. 
Is that it? Hello? Game? Uh, busy? Nope, there it goes. Well, say hi, Zuki. How it goes? We are, uh, we're in hell. We're, we are just in hell right now. Now it's slightly less hell. Got some interesting airmail. Looks like we've got a mission lined up. Mm -hmm. Among the first of the Independence Force assets which we were able to recover outright from the geothermal disaster were the partisan scout units. Woods people and rangers from our park services who were no stranger to dangerous terrain. When combined with natives from the Dustlands or volunteers from our south, we've had ample ability to scout out scattered Federation forces still recovering. Do you notice the exclusion zones basically doubled? Geothermal hotspots had become rallying points for the Federation. And as our partisan scouts have observed, the largest one in this immediate region is at the historic Bright Fortress and Weather Facility. Tactically, in the early stages of the war, this installation was of marginal importance, often being used as a secondary base for damaged aircraft to land at and to bounce signals from the now disabled Solana Kong facility. Its location in a relative geothermal safe zone, however, has made it a new rallying point for the surviving Federation forces in this area. On the ground intel has denoted that these forces are gearing up to renew the offensive in this area, and if they do, the Federation would have started the momentum first on reigniting this war. Hitman team, you are to lead our surviving allied pilots on a tactical strike on this facility, denying the Federation the first move. That's it, huh? Business as usual? They fly out a letter and we're going back out. It's better than sitting on concrete all day. What are you complaining about anyway? At least you're getting paid for it. Your planes are good. Munitions and fuel all set. Hitman team, it's your call to go up. Yeah, uh, yeah, Comic Diplo and Monarch. That's why it said that they keep doing this work, even though they're not, they, uh, like, made their fortune ten times over. Sicario is just the mercenary crew. They've got their own history, but it's not as tied to Cascadia. But, yeah. And that, that's why it said that, like, Prez is something else. Uh, and some, I think they mentioned some stuff with Galaxy as well in that regard. Alright, uh, so we can, okay, we can get the, the, the fun, funny Russian, or we can save up, get, uh, the fucking, I don't know what that one's based on. Uh, yeah, because then we start getting into stupid planes. Alright. Do I buy the SK-37 or save up for the... Okay, someone was talking about launching back loggery. Yeah, do I buy the SK-37 or uh, save up for the next ones? Actually, you know what? I should check what their fucking stats are. Hang on. This guy is what? 2.1, 320, da 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 da. That is... 2.6, 328, that's stronger in the other regards. That's only got versus anti-air, whereas that's got multi-lock anti-ground as well. Oh no, hang on, that one has AA, AA, multi-lock anti-ground, multi-lock anti-ground, and a shit ton of anti-air. Yeah, we'll, we'll save up something a little snazzier. A A A A A G. Let's go. We got a base to bomb the shit out of. What could possibly go wrong? Everything checks out. Also, this is just straight up inspired from Ace Combat 4. There's there's a moment in the game that's basically this. I can see the trees rendering out. Alright. Yippee! Wahoo. Alright. 
Now we go blow shit up. Alright. We are no longer in super apocalypse, we're now only in mild apocalypse. We, we've actually got a fucking thing now. The, um, the, the air battleships. We're just gonna keep hitting them with the Fox 3s for a little bit here. Because, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know. You'll get... Ding. Ding. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Come on. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, you! I need you to perish. Oh, we're getting shot by so many fucking railguns right now. It is actually kind of silly. Let's, uh, let's take those down a bit, shall we? Take down the Sam sites. Those things are right, fuckers. There we go. Slow it the hell. Ah. What the fuck's a missile coming from? Oh, well, we'll figure it out later. You! I'm gonna need you to die. The oh, fuck? Woohoo! Okay, that was close. That was a little bit of a close one. Alright, you. Perish. You. Perish. Man. Yes, I did fucking pook Chev's Cobra, that guy. Felt cool. I'm glad I did it. And I can't fucking hit this thing. There we go. Got him! I know I wasn't ahead of him, and that's usually how the Cobra goes, but yeah, it fucking worked, alright? Taking these fuckers out. There's too many of them grouped up here for me to not blow them to high hell. Fish wiping out the space. I like flying so slowly, I might as well be a fucking helicopter. There's something hilarious about that. Radar not fucking dead yet. There we go. Oh, that's cordium lightning. We'll, we'll ignore that. Uh, hey. Uh, can you... Fuck 
are you doing up there? Oh, everything else got wiped out. Okay. What do you mean, miss? Oh, someone else blew it up. That's not a miss. That someone else saw my kill. Eh, fucking hell. Like how all these guys are fighting one thing. Jesus Christ. Abomination, you say? Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah! Now this shit shows up. Land battleships. Yep. That's not a fucking gag. And they... We ha we've had sky battleships, now it's normal ass land battleships. Let's go. I'm just gonna fucking unload into this thing a little bit, just for a sec here. Don't mind me, just earning my paycheck. And if you were wondering why land battleships aren't used so much anymore, that's why. Funny part is, I would have had a bigger chance if they'd held still. Also, if we had an unguided bomb, it would absolutely annihilate these things. There we go. Uh, pull up. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I got this shit. Nah, fuck it. Hang on, I nearly got it. And there we go. Completely fucking destroyed. Easy. Need to get on zero already? I mean, yeah, all the Ace Combat games are great unless you're talking Assault Horizon or that one PSP game that was also set on Earth. Not X. X is actually good. I, I would play Ace Combat X on stream. That one's, up, that one's like, people skip it because it's not PS2, but that Ace Combat X can stand alongside the uh, Holy Trinity. It's, a, it's good shit. Yeah. It's come at the game. See, you gotta fix that. You gotta fix that, because Ace Combat is fucking amazing. And you absolutely need to play them, like, now. Just, just do it, alright? Just, just, oh wow, we have to land f past the fucking cranes. That's fun. Can we, like, blow those up, maybe? I'd really appreciate it if we could just blow up the fucking cranes. That would be nice. Also, there's, uh, I guess we set up missile platforms there. That makes sense. But yeah, for real, Zuki, play Ace Combat. You will not regret it. Just, just go boot up Ace Combat 4 right now. The operation was a success. Federation forces in this area have been scattered and rendered no I miss when our, like, the elements, radars and, um, UI didn't glitch the remain. fuck out. Parallel with this mission, several other organized IF forces launched similar attacks on unprepared Federation units. With this kickoff, we can chase the Federation back into Presidia, and hopefully off of Cascadia forever. The Federation is disorganized, on the retreat. They know what we've been through, and unlike them, we will not make their mistakes. There we go. Hitman team, stand by. Pushing back to the end of the war. Pretty straight shot, honestly. That's three of seven. Always losing count. This is Dr. Scott Dombrowskis transmitting from the University of Presidia with an update on the geothermal activity that has wrecked our nation. As we've learned, the Ring of Fire as a whole has erupted in varying degrees of disaster throughout. So we Cascadians alone are not bearing the sole brunt of this reprise of the calamity. That being said, as we are at the epicenter, we have had the worst of it. That time is over now. Cordium reactivity is down.
down to normal ambient levels in all but the most concentrated areas, and so we can expect the cessation of geothermal storms and tectonic disturbances. I advise high caution to any who would dare move from shelter or travel in affected areas, but for the most part, the natural dangers that remain will be a great deal less of an issue compared to the destructive effects from the loss of infrastructure and ongoing wildfires. However, rest assured, it's not going to get any worse. The monkey's paw curls. Well, that's the word from the professor Fucking hell. Hitman, the damage this disaster did on us is not to be understated, especially on our air force. We're not the only ones operating out of a highway right now, and we're lucky. You're not even a full squadron. That being said, you're the most combat capable right now, and in order to rectify that, we're returning to Prospero. With as big as it is, even while damaged, it'll still serve as the best operating base for the final operations. We've been able to get in contact with surviving scouts in order to scope out Prospero. And as far as we can tell, it is now abandoned ever since this calamity took hold. With residual effects subsiding, now is the time to pick up where we left off. But yeah, so essentially this was like the whole, like, what is the actual worst part of a nuclear bomb? And it's the fucked up infrastructure like even pit survivors can't be rescued because the roads are just gone site. so the biggest threat will come from the air equip your planes appropriately wheels up in the hour like uh Kerskazart did a good video of it they talked about like if a nuclear b uh, modest sized nuclear bomb went off in the city what's the worst thing that'll happen and it's that the fires and everything will just rage, and even if you survive the blast, you're still just dead. Alright, uh, so let's compare these. Hang on. I'm looking at the corner of my eye here. So the Camaro is a lot slower. It rolls faster, but that's about it. It looks like the Camaro is mainly there just to be a cool plane. Uh, cause yeah, the Chimera has what? Oh, that's an anti-ground- okay. Yeah, so that would be the anti-ground version, whereas yeah, if I'm going up against aerial stuff anyway, we'll go ahead and buy the VX-23. Alright. Uh, MLAA, Regulus Fine, SAA, and you know what? We're not, we haven't got that many on the ground. Any, any funny designs we can grab? Not really. Yeah, that'll do. Let's go. What is it with pages called Prospero getting burned in fucking hellfire? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you, Dagda. Oh wow, this has tons of visibility. Yo, let's go. Hey, this plate, this plate's rad. I like this one. Is this based on a real plane? With I know I've seen the like the nozzle thrusters before, where it can do like the fine adjustment for like maneuverability shit but i don't know if that's based on a real plane or not yeah so now there's the leaning tower prospero over there you know it, it adds to the tourism you know those those uh Disaster tourists, which I say that that is a thing, so you know, uh, fuck the world, I guess. Yeah, this thing is maneuverable. Holy crap! Oh, damn. I think flies smooth. Oh, yo, the yaw's even pretty good. Oh, damn. Alright, 
I'm gonna blow things up real quick. Mishmash of a bunch of different aircraft. Ah, so, so it's a, a thing combined with the Raptor. Okay, the Raptor makes sense. That, that, yeah. To be fair, who doesn't like the Raptor? I mean, isn't the Raptor your poster child for, um, like, America was making uh, a, a uh, like, aerial superiority craft based on what, the, uh, like, over uh, other countries were telling us they had as opposed to what they actually had? Or was that a different, or was that like the F-35 or something? What are you doing over there? That was the F-15, okay. And then we just kind of kept going and, you know, now we are at to an absurd degree. Also, I nearly got struck by Cordian Lightning. Uh, fucking Crimson. I'm gonna murder the shit out of him right now. Where the fuck are they? Somewhere over here. Alright, active volcano, let's go. You like fighting in low visibility conditions? That's what we're about to fucking do. first. You have the lucky benefit of being the first one I take down today. Ha! I didn't think it'd be that quick. She dogs help the sheep to slaughter. I mean, not if they're like there for their wool, to be fair. Then, it, then they get a lovely little shear, and everyone's happy. Like, have you ever seen a happy sheep after it gets sheared? They're having a good time. Like, yes, we bred them to be absolutely absurd with their wool, but at least, you know, it's, they're not, like, having a bad life. Two like turns on the dot. You did, didn't you, bastard? Yeah, how do you like it when I can also turn on the die, huh? Gotcha. Yeah, they call me that fucking edge lord over here. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Yeah, I got hit. Criminal, I'm a mercenary, bro. I'm doing your job, but for different people at varying times of the day. Doesn't matter wh wh how you feel about it, people are gonna do it. Someone's willing to pay, someone's willing to get paid. Get a lock of this asshole. This motherfucker. Yo, I'm looking onto you today, I don't care. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty wrong even you in this fellow. That's you, that's what you sound like.
<laughs> ah, don't worry about it, press. I'll be fine. Yeah, diplomat, just like I don't, I don't, I just want to play the fucking play game. Stop giving me lore, I don't care. Anyone who picks up Ace Combat thinking it's realistic. Basically, any War Thunder player playing Ace Combat is what, is what Dip is doing right there. Ah, hell. Come on. Oh, there's the active volcano. Don't mind that. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, sure. Just fucking turn around and you're flying right into it. Why not? Where the fuck are you guys going? Actually, though. Ugh. Thought she fucking just turn on the dime again. Come here. No, you don't. Yeah, I see you doing that shit. Think I can't preempt that? Yeah, come on. What else you got? Huh? You got nothing. You got nothing. You got one trick up your sleeve, but as soon as they learn how to counter it, you toast. There you go. Oh, you're fucking dead. You ain't ejected from that shit. Oh, uh, if it starts spinning if you're going down, you're done, mate. It's left. Two, we got two left. Yeah, fuck. Alright, which one of you is Crimson One? I want to style on you before I kill you. Probably this fucker. Huh? What the fuck is his plane doing? I think he lost control there for a second. It didn't look like he was flying. Ah! Got him. Hey, right, 99 Crimson. Eh, it doesn't matter if I stole there. Come on now. Ah! Got him. Oh, he's dead. And we'll never see him again. That will see me next episode. Crimson's lost it. He lost it like... Dang, that he's lost it since the Bering Strait. Genuinely don't remember what missions are left. I know what the last two are. Was that the last one before the the finale begins? Finally moved into Prospero. Yeah, we'll find out. Activity within hotspots in Cascadia is subsiding. By not letting up the pressure, and by taking our land back, even during Cascadia's darkest hours, we have now taken back the initiative, the offensive, and soon enough, our country. Federation forces throughout the country are retreating off coast, congregating in Presidia. This means that they'll have their final stand on this continent in our capital city. Hitman team, stand by. Go. Alright, I guess this is, this may in fact be the ending. Let's go. Time for Presidia. Alright. Red Sea. The time is nearly upon us. Oh, Presidia okay. Is on the horizon. Federation is cornered like a rat in Cascadia. Yep. This is their final beast, and they are desperately trying to keep it fed. The Independence Force is preparing for one last naval engagement okay. before the siege of Presidia begins. For months, ever since the lockdown on aerial cargo and commerce, the Federation military in the region has used Presidian ports to assist its supply train. 
This only increased when Prospero was lost and the geothermal fractures were reignited. Our fleet, along with eminent domain, has tried its best to plug all the holes in our own blockade. However, the Federation has brute forced their way into having a line. The naval convoy is the Federation's only lifeline left. Once it is severed, we can choke out the considerable defenses of Presidia. However, there is also another objective to this. In Presidia's main naval harbor is the Federation's first naval battle group. Its concentration within the harbor currently represents the strongest component of Presidia's defenses. Ever since the war started, they have not moved from their position in order to reinforce the city. We intend to change that. By taking out these vital convoys, we anticipate that this fleet will have to respond in order to keep Presidia from being trapped. Independence Force it's all Naval logistics. It's always just logistics. To just outside of Presidian waters to throw themselves upon the naval blockade. It's Listen, destruction, the people love with our own tales of like key strategic of targets, uh, like special ops, Support shit like that. Wars are one with fucking Navy. logistics. Victory here means we save a lot of lives when the final. That shit comes. just speeds it up. Whether you win or lose is down to how well can you supply your front line. You can keep that shit supplied, fed, and defended, you, you're done. Yeah, it's too easy. Hard part's keeping those routes open. I say massively oversimplifying war. That's how the Finns lasted so long during the Winter War. There you go. go let's fuck up some supplies isn't that also why it's important to like mark whether a truck is civilian or military because you don't want the civilian supply lines getting fucking bombed but also that's like really nuanced well more civilian trucks i guess Hey, right, let's go. We got shit to blow up. Oh wait, hang on. Ha! You're dead. As are you. Oh shit, I think he dodged them. Oh shit. I lost. God, he sounds like a fucking child. How many. What, who's left in the Federation at this point? Oh god, we're literally just killing children. Everyone, you got any other targets? There they are. Let's go. Anyone in the air? I literally don't see any other planes left. I think we took them all out. Oh, there they are. Ah, uh, aircraft carrier. Yeah, that'd do it. Oh, 
Ooh, that's what I'm flying. Look at that. Big other thing. Come on, guys. Be sensible about this. If you surrender, we will stop. We are the assholes. Oh, well. Sorry, fellas. War is war. Job's a job. Like this, etc., etc. They, they ain't gonna get a beat on me, fellas. Like, don't worry about it. You're not dead yet. I'll be damned. Anyone else? Carrie's about to go down, fellas. It's still fucking launching planes. Holy shit. How many of them have they got in there? Federation naval carrier. Yeah, not down. Huh. Still up. I'll be down. I would not have expected that. Oh, it's not going to be up for much longer, is it? That'll do. Alright, you planes don't have anyone to land anymore, so uh, good luck. You fucking need it. Not that I'm going to give you that chance. These things are burly. Anything else? What do you mean you dodge that shit? Ah, fuck it out. Unfortunately, these guys did not learn from Captain Torres and did not, in fact, surrender. So, 99. Oh my fuck. That's fine. Doesn't matter if I stole there. Oh, God damn it. Fuck it. Oh yeah, Bagda, I need to yell Trapangalore at you later. Remind me to, because I finished the game finally. off the cheeky buggers. And that should be this one left. Hello? Oh, there he goes. Job's done. Good old battle at sea. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's a fucking nutter battle group? Where'd they come from? Oh, mercenaries. Fucking hell. Fucking figures and some mercs. Do they not see that the Federation is losing this battle? Or are they getting paid anyway? I guess they're getting paid anyway. Contracts and all. Such is the way. Uh, yep, that's everyone over there. You fellas next. Now then, I believe you need to perish. You're a right fucker. Alright then. No matter where you go in Ace Combat, you get up behind the big airship and you blow it sky high. Oh. Regular uh, F-14. That's good. Sorry, Tomcat. Just business. F-14 was the Tomcat, right? I got that right? I'm not thinking of something else. Kill and you kill. Um, I thought I was still in your kill. Ooh, advanced railgun. I wonder what's so advanced about it. I don't think it's going to end well for them. Nah, damn. I was trying to get him. Really, this isn't a battle anymore. This is this is just slaughter. They may as well be docked in port. For as much damage as they're doing to us. Anything left? Because it, it's really not seeming like it. Come on. Free arm and there it is. That's what we want to see. Uh. Alright. Alright. Time to die. That's everybody. Guns, guns, guns. Mm -hmm. Alright. So the YF-23 was the competitor for the Raptor project and was because while it was faster and had a quite a radial signature, it wasn't as agile and as long-ranged. Uh, and they wanted to repurpose the project as a Tomcat replacement, but it got cancelled because budget reasons and congressional lobbyists figures. The noose is beginning to tighten, and the Federation will need some time if they are at all. To be fair, that is the way of it, is it not? Military. Let's be fair. The military budget is already fucking ridiculous. Listen, we like military stuff, but also, Jesus fucking Christ, put some in the healthcare. Eight man, galaxy. 
like to see you're still I, what's that first getting political in a blatantly obvious and easy way never long story short a good part of the world is knowing where the wind is blowing and i've got myself an army no one has ever seen before mercenaries freedom fighters and maybe a secret proxy squadron or two from anti-federation powers anyway hey, so he just got recruited half the world to take out the federation and reload we'll get back to it soon enough we're gonna let the blockade stew for as long as we can as invasion preparation. Uh, but we're oh. gonna move fast on the capital, or they'll be too entrenched. Uh, how do I phrase this without getting in trouble? What's that? Um, a smaller force up against a major force being used as an excuse to fight against that major force in proxies? Mmm, how about that? I brought I'm not saying like conspiracy shit. I'm just saying, every war junkie, you know, every soldier of fortune, you know, you know what I'm getting at here. World, Cascadia has become a beacon of rebellion against the Federation, and for that, declassified Black Book projects. Funny, I won't argue that point. The best we've got, and the rebels will take everything they can. At first, when taking this job, I thought it was only business that I could find my glory here. But after all they've done, what they did to us. To Sicario, for the fucking planet. Only blood will pay for this contract. We intended to keep the blockade going for at least a month to drain the Federation defenders, but circumstances have forced our hand. We are moving on Presidia today. Listen up, this is it. With the supply lines cut and the blockade holding against any reinforcements, Presidia is the final Federation stronghold in Cascade. Bad time. <laughs> Time immemorial project, copy project of world powers, yeah. Entrenched against both land and air attacks. The firepower which exists yeah. there now is the sum of any units. How'd I argue with that? This long into the war. That shit's ex with that's no old as humanity. That survival is to fight. We intend to meet them and then end them outright. The operation to take back Presidia will be separated into four cardinal parts: land, air, sea, and endgame. All combat operational ground forces will be pushing into Presidia from inland, surrounding the enemy forces. From there, they will start dismantling the resistance and taking control of the city. At sea, the eminent domain will be moving in toward the shore to provide gunnery support. This eminent domain is one hell of a ship, I gotta be honest. Overhead, the last of the Federation air power and country will be out trying to inflict as much damage on the IF as possible. Once these factors are accounted for and our forces are in position, the final phase will commence. We will start moving into the city toward the port to wipe out the Federation from Cascadia once and for all. Hitman team, you are among our most veteran elements among the Independence Force. You will be our spearhead. It is by your attacks that the offensive will conduct itself. Choose which element of the battle you want to take on and in what order. We're still trying to gather last minute reinforcements ourselves and scavenging what the Federation has left behind. But without your support, it will not be enough. We don't know how this battle will be won, but it ends in the complete and utter devastation of either us or them. All right. Cascadia is our home. Let's blow some Cascadia shit up. Cascadia is its heart. The flag that flies over it at the end will decide all of our fates. We are going to send shit to the Fucking stratosphere. Alrighty. Uh, MLA2, SAA, MLAG2, Angle Attack Limiter. What's the flashiest fucking thing I can put on this plane? Yeah, let's go. We got shit to blow up. Welcome to Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, boys. We got murders to commit. Sam, we're taking out the ground forces first. 
Because as soon as those are down, that means less Sam forces shooting us down. That being said, I'll have you use some of my other shit along the way. Also, it's hard to lock up the shit sometimes. Also, the music is going to go hard, and I'm all for it. Welcome to Presidia. Unfortunately, the only thing is, because of all the buildings, it can be a little hard to get these missiles to land sometimes. That being said, it's not that hard. Hang on, you fuck. I'm gonna use my guns, guns, guns. There we go. Is up next. You fellas, you're looking mighty MLAable right now. Missile. Hang on, so I can't look under that bullshit. Come on, you fuckers. Close enough now, let's take you out. The hell? Bombers. Yeah, those are definitely bombers, alright. Side on top of the building, did ya? You sure that was a good idea? It's a bit wasteful. At least it's not on top of a fucking hospital. Like certain base combat games. There we go! Another cruiser down. The fucking stick so hard. My pants going numb. I need to chill out for a sec here. Uh, we're getting locked up by a lot right now. What's what's happening? There's just a lot of plates behind us. Okay, that's easy enough. Uh, there's a target I'm missing. Where is he? There he is. Got him! At least one left. Oh, no, now we're moving on to the aerial targets. Airship debris. Yeah, that's gonna be a part of it.
at this point, just, just, just make us fucking king, like our name says. Like, that's the only way you're paying us back for this shit. Unless you're sitting on a fucking million, not even a million, you're sitting on literal fucking trillions of dollars. And it's already destroyed. Because... I got him. They ain't crimson. Oh, never mind. They head dodge. Be damned. Look at him go. I'm running out of fucking guns, though. Need to act. It's funny, because, you know, in reality, missiles are the limited shit. I mean, guns are limited too, but you know what I mean. Listen, we got Macross missiles. That's what, that's the important part here. Uh, who's left? Alright, Naval's left. They are not going to last. I can tell you that right now. They're already half destroyed, what the fuck? Now the worst thing to happen right now would be for me to crash, so let's not do that. I don't have any countermeasures. I trained the two in for the AOA. Ooh, werewolf. Hey Dagda, are you on this ship? Yeah. It's cause you're a furry. Golden Gate over here. They have not got much left on these things. I think they're kind of fucked right now. Oh, let's be fair, they were fucked already. We're just confirming it. don't have any weapons left on these ships. And we ended up barnstorming. How fun. I know it's not technically barnstorming, but you know what I'm getting at. Got it. Ah! Even while the missile was tailing me. I always call it barnstorming because it just calls two. Uh, yeah, now we're in the end game. Yeah, this is the part where you can crash and lose it all if you're not careful, so... We're gonna play this a little safe. Wait, so have we not seen Ronin for like two months at this point? Okay, I think my VI headset bugged out for a second there. What the fuck just happened? 
I, I like lost my ability to see properly. What the fuck? Shelling from the building itself. It's wild. Not gonna help him though. Let's go! They, they're not wrong. This is a victory. The fucker did it again. Uh. 
God, there's, uh, there's just billion instructions getting in the way of your missiles. Ah. Also, welcome to the stream, unfortunate watcher. Sorry, I can't respond as quickly. Got VR headset on, you know. Well, Kaiser wasn't MIA. He we he told us he left just to like get more units. Anyways, let's go. It's different with Perez. So you can tell they really like this Combat Zero. If you didn't pick up on that. Uh, Prez just passed out. G-forces were too hard, she is literally unconscious in her backseat. Which, considering the way we're turning, yeah, that adds up. Uh, he's shooting rail guns at us now. Because of course he is. I can see anymore. Everything is just mis missiles, smoke, and dust. And it's literally gone black except for him and me. God, that's fucking fitting, ain't it? Fuck me. 
to, to reset from zero, you say? That's what Crimson One is for. Uh, I'll save the Ace Combat Jokes for when Vicky gets to it. He just got fucking struck by lightning. Are you kidding me right now? The fucking bot strike you down where you stand. Well, that ain't what the fuck did he just send out? Oh, cool. Giant shields in the sky. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's normal. Oh yeah, when they uh, shrink, I believe they... No? I thought they turned into rail guns. Oh, these ones do. Uh, I've been looking out for so long my head hurts. Fuck. See anymore. I don't. Alright. I'm good. I'm good. I'm alright. I'm alright. Fuck, I'm alright. Lasers and death. There is nothing else here. Come on. Come on. I don't care what I'm shooting at you, so long as it hits. So if you're wondering what a Macross video game looks like, it's this. It's just this. Come on. Come on! I gotta get out of these. So the right house caught fire right now, I wouldn't even notice. What do you mean he's not dead? It's our theme? Not that I'm gonna make it at this fucking rate. Ah, uh, yeah, Crimson One is, you know, he's, 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 you know. Oh, 
this car. I've never thought of, I thought I played this game on normal. I didn't know it got this buggy insane on hard. God knows what. And they're gonna make mercenary mode even worse. Like they're adding modifiers to it and shit. If you're not in Project Wingman, apparently mercenary mode is just gonna fucking end you. Yeah, fight this guy in the fucking MiG. Just style on him. Come on. I fucking see! Everything's gone black again. How oh, goody, more lasers. Bitch! Missiles on him right now. Come on. Come on. On you bastard. Damn it. Okay. Cascadia is in ruins. The war has been won. The deal will be honored. Contract complete. Funds distributed. Wow. Ow. Uh, that would be Project Wingman. Holy shit. And, uh, yeah. This is maybe like three people. <laughs> Holy shit, did they go hard with it. Another Centuries Episode 5 win.
In an older version, the HUD got, j got jammed and went away completely by the th third day phase? Maybe. Imagine committing two atrocities and then losing the war anyway. So Merc Mode does have dialogue that plays over the credits too, yeah. The main thing there is I'm not going to bother playing Merc Mode until they finish the update. Because it's they're adding um, proper challenge modifiers. It's not just better AI. It's actually like unique mission like ultra challenging missions um at least that's the intent the intent is you're in the project wingman mark 2 and you're doing like ultimate difficulty you know but we're also not done yet because there's one more thing i want to do will it work i'm not entirely sure but we're gonna find out so if you'll indulge me a moment, if you're watching the VOD, it may end here. Or it may continue. If it continues, well, then you get to enjoy the fun as well. If not, don't worry. It wasn't a new story or anything. It was uh, something else. All right. Let me get this set up. It'll only take a second here. All right, then. Let's try this. After burner stuck, too much damage both ways. Have you received five times back? Uh, secondary gun only, three times gun ammo. Enemy camouflage no longer appears unless they targeted. Uh, radar only shows the direction of the enemy. Uh, I don't think any of these matter. Yeah, that's fine. Mercenary. Alright, with the music off, I've had this in mind for like a year, and I don't even know if it was really worth waiting that long, but it had to wait till I was actually doing Project Wingman. So let's find out, shall we? Was this worth the wait? Was it a silly idea? Probably a silly idea. Uh... All right. Which, if you didn't know, when you start this mission on Mercenary, they're very blatant about their influences.
Yeah, I don't know. I've just had that idea for a while. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed Project Wingman, because I sure as hell did. This game's fucking great. Literally, just, te just it's just ace combat. Like, there's nothing else to it. But god, did they fucking nail it. It is as good as any ace combat, if not better in a lot of ways. They absolutely, like, hit it out of the park with this one, and I hope the best. I wish the dev team the best in whatever comes next for them, because goddamn, did they go hard. And apparently they've just been working on, like, making this game even better. They've been ironing out the last few things they've wanted to uh, fix up, like the mercenary mode. Alrighty, it was indeed worth it. Best part is I'm not quite popular enough that the copyright strike's gonna hurt. Like, it's not like I'm making money off this shit yet. At least not to any noticeable degree, so... It's like, oh no, that every revenue I'm not getting. Like, it's the left publish shit like that. Alright, I need to get this headset off. Holy shit. Again, thank you everyone who tuned in. If you want to see more playing games, honestly, I will probably end up doing the Ace Combats at some point. That being said, I've already played some of them already a few times, but you know how it is. Uh, let me get this shit off. Because I am not using VR anymore. So I can go back to normal and give a proper send-off, you know? Eh. All oh, right, that pops up over. Don't worry about that. Don't ignore that. <laughs> Alrighty. The red face marks, right? Oh, God, yeah. That's, you know. It's like, oh, gee, I wonder what you were doing comes out of room with red face marks over eyes. Ugh. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, <laughs> even my face tracking my face tracking isn't happy with me right now. Ah. Oh, well, I'll fix it later. Again, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll send a raid out and call it a day. How the fuck went my mouth closed properly? Oh whatever, I'll figure that out later. Uh let's see, Body Eaters playing Hades, Lunar Warpex playing Star Citizen. Uh, hmm. Anyone else playing Project Wingman by chance? If not, we'll probably just raid into body. Um, nope. Looks like it's just me. Damn. Oh well. We'll raid into body. Y'all have fun there. And until next time, y'all take care.